the first report or really functionality that we have in our data management is Lexicon. Now, Lexicon, I think it's a very cool and handy report, especially as someone who spends a lot of time uh, building out mixed implementations and designing and going through all the trouble and then seeing bad implementations. So Lexicon is really something that you really do want to use as much as possible. Uh, and really, the, the, the goal here is, is, is data governance, right? Uh, try to manage your data, keep it clean, keep it accurate, keep it simple to understand. Uh, so when you open it up, uh, we can see all our, the events that we're currently tracking, right? Uh, we can rename an event just at the interface level, right? So instead of having to change it to the code level, uh, we can do it here. And this is really the, the bulk of really what it is for almost a lot of things you'll see here. It's being able to take what you were given from your development team and make it better without having to ask them to make uh, any changes. Not everything can be done through here, but you can do a lot of simple things, right? So we can rename events, we can add descriptions. Uh, this is especially helpful when you're getting teams to adopt data because this, this description will be available throughout different reports, uh, like the insights report and so on. They'll just be able to hover over it and say, oh, this is what this event is, how it fires, some of the logic, whatever you need to know about it, right? When we open a specific event, uh, you know, we have a description. Uh, we can add tags if we want to categorize our data, right? And then platforms, if you want to specify what platform something came from. Uh, there is actual event properties that specify platform. This is just another way to specify it, right? Or if it's something that's available across multiple platforms, right? And then under those events, we can see some of those custom uh, properties that we're, that we're tracking ourselves and some of the mixed panel properties that, that are being tracked, right? You can see the mixed panel properties already have all this initial information here. Ideally, you eventually want to do the same for any data you're tracking, whether it's event properties or events, right? Uh, it's just a way to provide uh, more information about it. Uh, we can do custom events. Uh, what that means is we can create uh, an event. Uh, let's see if we can open this. A custom event is typically something where, where we take multiple events uh, and do different logic uh, for it, right? So we might have, let's say, uh, two events that uh, bring revenue to the company. Maybe one's a, a subscription event and maybe one's a, like a one-time purchase, uh, like an in-app purchase event or something. Uh, so we can combine them into a single custom event that should say revenue event that will get fired or will get counted uh, depending on uh, of if either of those events uh, get triggered, right? Uh, so this is something that, that could be helpful here, uh, renaming and managing those custom events. Then we have event properties as a whole, right? Uh, all the possible event properties in your account. Uh, this is also an area typically where you might have event properties that are uh, outdated and you want to remove them. Uh, so it's something that you can you can uh, simply make them uh, not visible as much. Uh, you can remove them altogether, or you can hide them, and it'll hide them from all, all the reports. A lot of times when we come into uh, existing mixed panel data, we'll see that they somehow have the same event property in different cases, lowercase, title case, some other weird camel case, or some other, some, something else, some weird combination of things. Um, and now only one is working, but every time people try to search data, they're like, I, I see like five different event properties with the same name, which one is the right one, right? This is exactly what that report solves. You can hide all the ones that aren't right, and you can add descriptions for the ones that uh, should be right. And lastly, we can do the same for user properties, so people properties. We can come in and, and change them, clean them up. Um, all the ones that have a dollar sign are typically mixed panel uh, properties, which is where you can see all the, all, the, all, the, all the information that's been filled out here, right? Example values and so on. Something that, that this report doesn't have just quite yet, but I would expect Mixed Panel to add that, is actually the ability to merge data. That is, maybe you send a puzzle loaded or lowercase, and then someday you start sending puzzle uh, loaded with a, a capital case, right? Or the second word was, was capitalized. Uh, instead of having to have a breakage in your data, you can simply just merge them into a single event, and you can force uh, Mixed Panel to use a specific case. Uh, that's something I've seen in other tools that, that's actually quite handy. And it basically gives you complete freedom over maintaining the integrity of your data, uh, the, despite how it may come in uh, from changes in your development team, right? So very, very handy thing that they that they are starting to deploy. Uh, relatively new functionality in Mixpanel uh, from last year, and I expect this to really grow and become much more powerful in your central source for data governance. So whoever that is in your company, whether it's a developer or maybe yourself, uh, this is a report that this is something that you really want to use as much as possible because uh, data integrity will be the, your biggest challenge uh, over the long term.